What's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm doing an opening for the Transformers War for Cybertron Selects Red Wing, and this is apparently a Target exclusive, so it's difficult to get out here, and I gotta credit Larkin's Lair for sending this out, because I really do appreciate it. And one thing that I noticed is that the boxes seem pretty boring, but what I've noticed is that it, it feels better when you open it, because these are exclusive figures, they are harder to find, but it doesn't feel like it's... Uh, it, it's like a pain to open, you know, how some people will keep them in the package. Uh, it doesn't seem like a big deal this time around. Anyways, you can open it up from the side. This is only an unboxing or opening and not a review. And there's the figure right there. There's the beautiful Red Wing. And uh, what you may have noticed is that there's no instructions on the back. That's a little weird. And uh, all the twist ties are off. I wonder why that is. Oh, maybe it's because my camera decided to screw up partway through the recording, so I couldn't use the recording for anything. Yay! Anyways, here he is. That's the beautiful Red Wing. I like the look of it. I like the red. I like the black. I like the white. But the color scheme is pretty much the same thing, or at least the pattern is the same thing as Starscream. He does come with a new head. He's also got uh, the orange transparent eyes that matches the cockpit, or at least it's maybe a, a duller, clear plastic, um, which I, I like the red of the Starscream that had, um, you know, for the transparent plastic for the eyes. However, uh, in the same sense, this guy is mostly red, so it wouldn't stand out. The instructions feel a little more slim and thinner, but yeah, there's the instructions. There's him with the smirk. That is pretty much the only redesign from the Starscream, so I guess you could say that this is actually a repaint of the Thundercracker figure, uh, but I don't mind necessarily. I, I know some people like to swap the heads. I don't think I will. I like the colors of this. I think it fits more with Starscream rather than this, because he's got the white face that kind of matches everything else, and the transparent plastic seems to work better on their figures rather than swapping them out. So I think I'll keep them like so. Really, it's just a smirk. That's the difference. And it would be cool if that was on Starscream, but it's not really a deal breaker for me. I'm not going to swap the heads. Oh, and this is supposed to pop out and fold down like so. It clicks up here and then folds down like that. Anyways, let's also see how the chest is. Hey, the chest is staying on this time. I'm not sure if it's pinned on, but that's a lot better than the previous. I mean, I still like the Starscream. Actually, I really like the Seeker Mold in general. It's a good size class, decent design. I love the alt mode. So, yeah, I'm just really a huge fan of it. I'm going to transform it off camera because I've done this before, and we'll take a look at that. Something to keep an eye on, I noticed that the panel right here was flipped all the way back. You have to flip that forward. Now, on my Red Wing, the head was pulled back, so it might have been just a case of how it was packaged, but that's just something to keep an eye out. And there's the alt mode, and wow, this thing looks fantastic. There's some sort of furiousness to it, I guess. I, I love the red, the dark red, the black and white. Oh, the colors just look so good, and the chest has not popped off at all in transforming this. I really do like this, and you can plug the guns at the bottom if you like. And man, I love this mold. It is super solid. It just looks fantastic. I know some people don't like this, but I mean, that's one thing out of this entire alt mode that I'm not even complaining about. It, it's it's just a good looking toy. Ah, thank you Larkin Slayer. I really do appreciate it. Um, anyways, with that said, please like, comment, share, subscribe to all those fun doodads, and I will see you guys next time.